I'm about to finally cut my hair, specifically um like the dyed part because it's been weaker than the other part, so it's been breaking off easily. The last extremely damaging thing that you never ever want to put into your hair is going to be hair dye or to chemically dye your hair. This is going to be really popular with a lot of people. They want color in their hair. I get it. There's going to be a lot of healthier versions of hair dye. There's going to be a lot of hair dye that is less damaging than other hair dyes, a lot of different brands, all sorts of different stuff. But overall, it's all the same type of gist. Dyeing your hair chemically damages your hair regardless. Now, it's going to be maintaining damage at a point where you're dyeing your hair and doing it in a more healthier way. You're trying to kind of maintain damage. But regardless, dyeing your hair and having your hair go through a chemical change is going to be damaging to your hair one way or the other. Whether it's in the future, whether it's in the very beginning, it's going to damage your hair regardless. But if you do plan on growing your hair very long and really sticking out this hair journey and this hair growth journey, then I very, very, very highly recommend staying completely away from hair dye. I know a lot of celebrities and a lot of rappers might have colored hair, but one way or the other, you're gonna have to reap the consequences later on at some point. You might get a lot of split ends, you might get a lot of hair shedding, you might get a lot of breakage. There's plenty of different sorts of damage that you can get from hair dye, but in the long run, you're gonna face some sort of hair damage one way or the other. It just If you think about it, it just doesn't really make sense to grow your hair and it come out your head black and then somehow all of a sudden you're blonde. If you think about it- I'm just gonna do like one piece on camera and then I might do the rest off camera because this is because this is like a little nerve-wracking but you plan on um going by small pieces and starting with the front so i can like really see and get familiar and then working my way back maybe like one half of the head at a time like this house then the other house not exactly sure i'll just go with whoever like feels like easier and the best and i have to mirror it like right in front of me in the bathroom so it might be like echoing this feels like so strange like cutting like a large like to me this is a large, like a large chunk of my own hair. But this is like looking such a clean cut. Like I can make a paintbrush out of this. But I might trim it down again later, not exactly sure. Because I don't mind like leaving a little color on the ends. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna like leave a little color on the ends when I'm doing like all around. But so far, like one piece down and like a bunch left to go. I'm not gonna lie, like cutting your own hair is like low-key satisfying. It's also like a way to like manage stress or any like big events going on in your life. Cause I'm just cutting it and it's just like I'm, pe I'm feeling like peaceful cutting away like old hair. And it's just like really nice overall. Like y'all don't talk about this more often. So far like I've done some of the front and I still have like a lot, of, a lot left. So I might do this over like the course of a few days. But I do have a pile of hair over here. I'm like neatly piling it up. I just have like a couple of inches, I don't know. But so far, you know, getting rid of that dead weight feels great. I definitely recommend like cutting your own hair at least once at some point in your life. Cutting the back with herb of a challenge because it's kind of blocked by um, my hair's up front. So I don't really have a method for that. I just sort of try to like pat down the front hair so I can see like what's in the back and see if I want to cut. And then I put my finger around where I want to cut. And then I get the chopping. I'm not doing big chunks. That's okay. It's like so awkward trying to cut your own hair because sometimes like I can see where I want to cut but my scissors and my hands aren't, aren't like cooperating. To like cut what needs to be cut, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's, let's go for like a good thumbnail photo. Let me let's give y'all somewhat decent thumbnail photo. Ooh. 
I'm a freak. Okay, I see it now. Like, where's the colored part? See, look over here. This is what I mean by. Let me go to brains a little because. Contrast. Okay, like, let me show y'all what I mean. Like, here, like, my. Okay, now it works. But, like, at one point, I was just like, oh, I'm trying to cut, it's not cutting. But after I'm done, I'm going to, like, go over again to get, like, any loose hair there if I want to cut it down more. Dog. Some of it's like dark and so much like already to my hair already. This looks good. This doesn't take too long like once I find like my groove. When I wash my hair after this, it's about to be like lovely. I'm not sure what hairstyle I'll put it in afterwards. I might be able to just like leave out like this because like once I wash and get it with it and like shrink down. I'm just hoping that it's mostly even. It doesn't have to be perfectly even because I don't really care like that. But it'll just be like mostly even. Well, I'm actually like close to being done. Wow. It's like, let me show y'all. Like, I know it's already like the back over here. If I put where I can feel more hair. But other than that, yeah, I think that's mostly it. I thought that, I thought that this would take me like, like a few days to do. But surprisingly, we be able to get it all done today. But kind of back to some of struggle because I can't um like cut straight down because I have to be able to see like one cutting. I'm already like turning my head as far as I can to the side and also like the scissor scissors catastrophe of like lining everything up. Alright, I just showered and washed my hair, so it's looking like this. I also combed it out to get rid of like any stray hairs or shed hairs. In terms of like moisture, I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to use two products, Jamaican black castor oil and this one. If I had coconut oil, I would use it. But I have no idea where that is, so I'm just going to use these two.